I'm Elliot Jackson, and welcome to Linzerheide, Switzerland, for the fourth round of the UCI Mountain Bike World Cup. We just came from World Championships where there's so much pressure, and here, it's just so nice. We have this amazing scenery. All the riders are much more chill, but talking to a couple of them, there's always things to figure out. The track is definitely more slippery. The terrain is completely different. I thought it would be a lot tamer, but having done a couple of runs this morning, it's just as difficult. It's still a puzzle you got to put together, and there's still sections that are really hard. Yeah, you need to be careful. Uh, you can push. Uh, yeah, it's really hard to ride. This track, you have a rock garden straight out of the first turn. Uh, what is it that makes a lot of the riders stop to look at this? Yeah, so yeah, you just pretty much start the track, a really slippery corner with uh, loose gravel, and then straight into this really technical rock garden. This is like three different lines. You have the full outside where you need to hop over the rocks, and then you have the middle one, which is a little bit safer and easier. You don't, the hop is not that big, and then the full inside, which is like the slowest but the safest line, so. Now I don't have to analyze this section because you just did it for me. <laughs> yeah, no problem. <laughs> Red Bull, I'm free. Like, yeah, go, let's go. <laughs> go on, Red Bull! Oh! He told us how to do it and then he did it. Can I take my goggles off? I mean... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, Anna Goggles Newkirk, how are you, uh, how are you finding the track? You've done a couple of runs now. Yeah, it's very Lenzerheide, it's the same as every year. Um, difficult, but like bike parky and weird. Do you feel like it's easier to ride a track that you've been to so many times or? Um, I'd think that, but I'm not really, I don't know, I've been here so many times and it's like, just as difficult every year. Always speed to find. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Always lots of puzzling to do. <laughs> that, that looks, I don't know. Not really sure what you're supposed to do there. I don't there's a lot you can do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like that. Yeah. That's kind of the main one. If I was riding out there. Yeah. You'd be on the front wheel, big stuff. Oh, 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 oh. I, uh. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's, a, it's much easier doing what I'm doing than what they're doing. Oh. What? Go on, boy. You're on a 26. I thought he was really big, but he's just on a 26 inch boy. This section is different. <laughs> There's uh, the typical line that's been there for years, but they've opened up these grass turns, so you have to make this trade-off between speed and distance. Going on the grass, you're not gonna be able to carry as much speed, but you're shaving off so much track. It looks fast going around, but if enough riders take the inside and make a rut there, then for sure, I would think it would be faster to go inside. Ah, Greg Minar, world champ. That's what he's saying is inside. I mean, you might have told him to do that. Yeah. Probably didn't, but might have. I know. What did you just do? Uh, I think I dislocated the finger. and I put it back in. <laughs> Downhill. Downhill's pretty gnarly. Downhill is pretty gnarly. <laughs> Troy Bossman. Um, <laughs> Bronze Nan. <laughs> <laughs> Bronze Tan. That's actually my nickname at home because I got third in the overall that many times that every all of my mates at home are like, oh, Bronze Nan, and it's like, it's getting to a point where it's pissing me off. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you got another bronze in uh, yeah. World Champs. What? I mean, 0. 0.4 back. Like, I remember a couple of years ago you had this insane bunny hop over one of the stumps. Do yeah, you? That was nice. Yeah, that was very nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you? Do you see anything like that here uh, in this section now? 
Um, I mean, you can go over that stump, but the dirt's like built up to it. So back when I did my stump gap, there was dirt flat and then a stump that came like that high out the ground. So there was no like tapping it and going. This is, you can kind of just tap and get over it. So too easy. Yeah, too easy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I, I've heard that people were like actually pre hopping over it. So then you can get back down early. So I guess that's a stump hop. Yeah. In a way. Okay, coming off of 14th at World Champs, which is incredible. It's first year, like full World Cup season. Where is your mindset coming into this race? And what is your goal for a race like this after World Champs? Uh, just, just the same, eh? Just cruise into it, do what I need to do, have fun, you know, um, nothing special, just, you know, drink water, eat the right food, <laughs> you know, it's all good. You know, this Mercedes Benz jump line, you see Brooke McDonald coming, seat bouncing, just styling it out as a rider, especially in practice, just feels so good. And even in the race, when you get perfect upside, perfect downside, you know, you have Coulange coming through, Oh, just cruising over with the side. It just feels so good. Like this is one of the things that makes World Cup racing fun. Let's take a quick break and watch some World Cup downhill mountain bikers enjoying their lives. Get some footy man, do some whips for the gram, you know what it's about. <laughs> This section is just incredibly steep and you really just have to be okay with not being able to stop. You kind of have two options. You can really either take this inside, which is gonna be much more direct, or you come outside, go around that yellow pad, which is gonna give him a lot straighter entry into that next section, have a really straight breaking point where the inside that you just saw, you have to break up to get inside of the Shimano pad at the bottom. Whoever suggested this taping change here was a bloody genius. Yeah, I just want to commend whoever you know, suggested that change. It could have been me. <laughs> oh. So this is the bike kingdom, Linza had to jump. It's so steep. I think it's 52% grade when you land, uh, but even still, you land and bottom out. So, you know, when you're thinking about setting up a bike, you can't set up for the whole track. You need traction up top on all that slippery off camber stuff and in the turns. And here, <laughs> this is where your gym comes in. So this is the Red Bull Drop of Fame. It was, it was always one of my favorite finishes to a track because you come over the drop and you just see the sea of people. It's like such a huge crowd, amazing finish, proper finish to a World Cup. So all the people who have said this track is easy, let's see what time training has to see about that. I don't know why I say see instead of say. It's weird, yeah, you only just started it today. That's strange. Was that easy? Um, not really. Um, it's different. Like, this one's really tricky. You gotta use your brain a little bit more than just being like, 
smash holes, you know. Um, it's just like trying to find the flow again. Especially for me, I'm so tight. So I feel like I'm sliding in every corner. I'm like, fuck. But it's actually good. I mean, every run is better and better and just go with the flow. So the track is actually really awkward, uh, slippery and non-supportive, like there's no flow, it's just, you have to be so smooth and think about like your speed coming in and try to carry, sp ah, it's so hard. Yeah, I think every year this track actually demands a lot more respect than people uh, think, it's like, from the outside it looks like a bike park -y kind of track but all the turns don't have the support in the right parts of them, there's like super flat turns, there's, there's a lot to take your front wheel, you're constantly just like feathering that front wheel, it, it's just dancing the whole way down, so to put down a, a heater you, you kind of got to be confident in your front wheel. Time training just finished here at Linzer Heide, Switzerland. And for me, the theme was really the riders feeling like they had it figured out after track walk yesterday and coming today, having to respect the track, really figure out what their bike was going to do, deal with the slippery lines and some of the alternate sections that we've had. I think it just shows that there is never an easy track in World Cup downhill racing. And all we can say is that times are going to be incredibly tight but as always join us on Saturday watch it live on Red Bull TV I'll be commentating again I'm super excited I can't thank everyone enough for all the positive feedback and encouraging messages that you've given me it's really surreal for me so I'll see you there and uh, can't wait for it